Printing a worksheet that has many rows and columns of data, such as this cost breakdown worksheet, can be a real challenge. There's no way that all of these columns are going to fit on the same page. Even when I change the orientation to landscape, I really don't like it when one or two of these columns end up by themselves on a separate page. When I click Print Preview, I can see that not all of the columns will fit on one page. There's an automatic page break after the June column. Fortunately, I can rearrange the automatic page breaks to control what is printed on each page. In Normal View, I can only insert, remove, and reset page breaks by using the page break commands. So I prefer to switch to Page Break Preview, where I can easily drag page breaks precisely to where I want them. If I want to print the data for each quarter on a separate page, I can simply drag the automatic page break, this dotted line, to another location on the worksheet. But first, I want to make sure that column and row labels are printed on each page, so that I know what I'm looking at. I'll include the first two columns and the top row. Now I'm ready to drag the automatic page breaks. I need to add one more page break, so I'll go ahead and insert it. I can do this by selecting the October column and then clicking Breaks in the Page Setup group on the Page Layout tab. However, I can also simply right-click the column heading for October and then click Insert Page Break. A vertical page break is always inserted to the left of the selected column. Notice that all of these manual page breaks are shown as solid lines instead of dotted lines. I can add a horizontal page break exactly the same way, one at a time. Horizontal page breaks are always inserted above the selected row. I can always remove a manual page break by dragging it off the page, or by using the Remove Page Break command, or use the Reset All Page Breaks command if I want to restore the automatic page breaks. For now, I'll keep the page breaks I inserted. I'm done working with page breaks, so I'll return to normal view. Now here are some things that I learned to watch out for. By default, page breaks are not displayed in normal view. But I can turn them on or off as needed. Although I can work with page breaks in normal view when they are turned on, I cannot drag them like I can in page break preview. Sometimes I have trouble dragging page breaks in page break preview too. This happens when the drag and drop feature has been turned off. I just need to remember to turn that option on before I work with page breaks. If the manual page breaks do not take effect when I print the worksheet, it's usually because I have also selected the scaling option, Fit to Page. I need to make sure that I select the Adjust To option instead. Finally, to avoid printing more pages than necessary, I can define a print area instead, or in addition to adjusting the page breaks. For more information about this, see the link on the demo page. Adjusting page breaks takes a bit of time, but it's worth the effort once you get the hang of it. The pages look the way I want, and no paper is wasted on unnecessary or blank pages. I definitely feel good about that.